And as you can see, just recently in the past few days, you saw a beautiful, enormous and impressive airship floating gracefully in the sky of China. Well, it was actually without any identification marks, a hint that it is most likely some kind of military equipment. But will it be possible to install your motors on airships as well, perhaps in the near future? Moreover, I believe that the lifting capacity of airships can potentially reach approximately 10 to 20 tons. Furthermore, this is a significant advancement. Well, in principle, an airship is a means of transportation that uses not quite traditional electric motors or engines, but rather lift generated by filling it with hydrogen or other types. Previously, warm air was heated to ascend. However, additional propulsion motors are now used for horizontal movement, and there is movement in this direction. But it is interesting there because the topic itself is intriguing. There is a possibility of potentially using solar panels. It all depends on various factors, such as the specific design layout. But yes, in fact, a month ago when I was driving near Weihai, I sent Andre photos of the airship that was in the air. It was a clear and sunny day, and the airship was floating gracefully in the sky. And when I was returning from the airport, he had already moved about 70 kilometers further. It was high up, and I couldn't capture it well, especially with the camera from the car. But this prompts the thought that China is moving very actively in this direction, and there will be aircraft there are already aircraft that are being sold to Central Asia, being sold to the Emirates, and there are already contracts. There are flying taxis that already exist. All this talk about it being nonsense and a distant future is not true. This future already exists here in China. It is here, and we are not alone. Our university is not the only one working in this direction. Many companies are receiving additional government support in this area, and in fact, engines will indeed be needed. As I said, each type requires its own specially developed motor. Every company that orders a motor needs exclusivity. Therefore, this exclusivity can only be developed for a specific company. The documentation and production line are transferred, and then they take care of it. Alternatively, Sovelmash handles the production and manufactures it well, either Victor will certainly receive permission for production and will grant licenses, or he will pay for the production of such engines. That is the methods and approaches concerning the details of how the payment will be made to Sovelmash are either a refund or full payment upon ordering the electric motor from scratch to the complete production cycle in detail in the process. Secondly, if the motors are ready, similar to those that are already developed, they can be used. That is, it may be some contractual basis for licensed production with some modifications because the body will need to be refined. The cooling system itself will need to be improved and others. But we definitely need to go out, take the first steps into the market and absolutely show that we can. Therefore, indeed, the prospect for Sovelmash as soon as the first orders come in will grow exponentially because when clients start to see these vehicles for themselves the orders will follow in other words what we are currently showing is just a sample of this nonsense there is certainly so much publicity so why don't your motors accept Tesla, BID uh, and other companies any large company operates within a big company these are just thick-headed people who ask such questions who has not been in the concerns, who has not talked to the management of the concerns about what they need. They need stability. The production lines that exist produce these engines. They can purchase and turn to large batches at any moment. We don't have that. Those who are used to creating one thing in the garage and then offering it will catch Tesla's interest. This is all nonsense, rubbish. Sorry for the expression. I'm not used to expressing myself this way, but honestly, these thick-headed people are really getting on my nerves. I'm sorry, but there's no other way to put it. It's childish. Those who know nothing and just sit with a beer can in front of the TV watching a Tesla drive by think that anyone can design a motor and approach Elon Musk saying, 
take my good motor. I've been to Porsche and Volkswagen, yes, I've talked to the factories. And the answers are quite simple. You won't indeed supply me with a motor at the price I buy EBB, will you at all? I do not have such production capacities. Sovelmash does not have them either. We need to reach this level in order to achieve the same levels as these. And this will be the first order when a large concert is booked. Even if it starts small, it will grow bigger and bigger. That is, it is necessary to take not just one step, but several steps to initiate a snowball effect of capital growth for Sovelmash. 